Transpath is the shortened form of water transformation planning, a five-year project that was started in 2022 and is being led by IH Del from Netherlands and IRT Guwahati from India. Transformation in, in the most simple terms is a fundamental um, change in a system from one state to another. So for me, transformation is a larger systematic change or systemic change, I would say. It's, uh, it's about bringing justice, it's about bringing equality, it's bringing achieving sustainability. That's the uh, way I look at transformation. Um, and if we're talking about transformations in water, um, one thing is the transformation that maybe we want to see in, in the water system or in the way that we deal with water, that we manage water. The objective of Transpath is to foster learning and support the further development of policy analysis tools, planning approaches and concepts to support a proactive adaptive joint management of transformation pathways. Transpath consists of 16 partner organizations from around the world. There is Egypt, Kenya, Sudan and Uganda from Africa. There is India and Bangladesh and Vietnam. We also have Mexico and the Netherlands. And in the Brahmaputra node, we are specifically looking into that. We are specifically aiming to achieve uh, the voices or to bring their voices to the state, to the government, to hear all those missing voices in the fields which are never heard or they are neglected or they are avoided. That's the, that's the one of the key elements of transformation we want to achieve. Um, we actually want to co-produce and co-create what different visions of transformation might mean in this wetland ecosystem. Um, we think that a lot of it is about building agency um, of the people who live in this place, not just the farmers who farm the land, but also of different leaders and in informal settlements who might have an interest in urbanizing differently or in a more environmentally sustainable way and building bridges and more relationships. We are still uh, setting up structures and uh, tools in which we are going to do within our, our system, whereby we will be working on wetlands in Kenya and trying to see how we can bring in uh, co-management transformation, where the stakeholders can be able to manage the system together through decision making from bottom up. It was also quite uh, exciting to see because the, the Kenyan node and the Mexican node, we are all working on wetlands. So it was quite interesting to see the wetlands which the Mexican node is working, uh, or which is the urban wetland in comparative to the wetlands which we are going to work along the Lake Victoria. On the Brahmaputra River Basin, so far, whatever water intervention has happened, uh, somehow it's not really something which has been able to bring uh, change or something which can transform the uh, society or community's well-being. So what we want to understand is if this this intervention, uh, which is related to inland water navigation between India and Bangladesh, is it really going to bring uh, sustainable change for the people in particular and also focusing on what kind of benefit it will bring to the economy, to the environment. So it's basically trying to understand the intervention more in detail, uh, focusing on water uh, uh, and the inland water navigation case. Uh, in the Vietnam North, we work in the Mekong Delta, uh, one of the most productive delta globally. Uh, but the delta is also facing uh, several challenges. Uh, for example, climate change such as salinity intrusion, flooding, and droughts, and also the pollution from agricultural activity. And all of these has impact on the uh, environment, uh, on the farming system and on the livelihood of people in the Delta. So the impact I'm hoping to achieve here with my solution is increased collaboration at a very, very, very high scale. So I want to every group, every actor that's currently either suffering under the problem, working with the problem, or looking to solve the problem, to work together and solve the issue. What we are doing um, with, with the colleagues and the people in Delft is actually trying to support the stakeholders in this transformative process, thinking about methods that can help them to discuss their disagreements, their conflicts, their different viewpoints of the transformation that they are maybe confronted with, but also 
the transformations that they that they seek. So we try to come up with methods to to support these dialogues, but maybe also with new governance arrangements that make the transformation um, easier to to achieve, to to continue to be adaptable, to 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 respond to an ever changing world, and maybe more more equitable, giving more stakeholders a voice in the in the process of of discussing and deciding together about the transformation they want to co-create.